Joining us now is Representative Warren Davidson, Republican of Ohio and a member of the Financial Services Committee. He's also a member of the Freedom Caucus in the House. Congressman Davidson, Democrats are mulling over a tax on billionaires in this country. It would affect around 1,000 families. What do you think of the idea? Uh, thanks for having me this morning, Greta. Nice to talk with you and look forward to talking with callers. Uh, I think it's a horrible idea, and if you think about the 16th Amendment, uh, they had to change the Constitution to begin taxing income. Uh, initially, that was only going to target a handful of families in America, and now look at it. Not only is it a horrible, inefficient way to ta uh, collect taxes, it's a massive invasion of privacy. Uh, frankly, the government shouldn't need to know, did somebody pay you? Did you pay somebody? Did you get a gift that was too generous? Did you give a gift that was too generous? Did you buy or sell something? That's what they collect on average ordinary citizens. And think how much they want to know about every billionaire. And what's it really going to do? It's really going to force the people that are on the edge of being uh, the lowest end of it that disclose all this information to have to liquidate their assets, whether it's farming or businesses or stocks or real estate. It's going to force them to sell it. And who are they going to sell it to? They're going to sell it to the wealthiest people. Uh, and it's going to grow the wealth gap even more. It's a horrible idea. I think it's unconstitutional seizure. Uh, and it amounts to legal plunder, as Frederick Bastiat called it. Today in the New York Times, Neil, Ar Neil Irwin writes a piece, and he cites a paper from the White House published last month. From 2010 to 2018, the wealthiest 400 families in America paid an average of 8.2% of their income in taxes. The average income tax rate for all Americans in 2018, without that capital gains adjustment, was 13%, and it was 25% among the top 1% of earners. It would create some very large tax bills for that small sliver of Americans. If a family's $10 billion net worth rose to $11 billion in a single year, a capital gains rate of 20% would imply a $200 million tax bill. Why not, as Democrats argue, make these wealthiest Americans who are on average paying 8.2% pay, quote, their fair share, a more? Well, one, uh, he doesn't define income correctly. And two, if you think about what's the void, you say, should billionaires pay more taxes? I think absolutely. But what would be the correct solution? You could tax consumption, and then everyone would pay more, including billionaires. Billionaires, oddly enough, consume massively more uh, than wage earners do. Uh, and they don't get their wages from, they don't get their income, their earnings from wages. So, uh, that's the challenge. How do you get after, say, Jeff Bezos? He never, he never sells the Amazon shares. He can go borrow uh, against the value of them, and that's not really a taxable event in the current system. Um, and right now, the future for Amazon looks very secure, but years ago, it seemed that way for Sears Roebuck. Right. So if at some point the shares go down, does, do they get a rebate and now they get a return because the unrealized losses? Um, the whole mechanism is a massive invasion of privacy. It distorts our economy. It disincentivizes investment in the United States. And I think if we simply tax consumption, we could raise revenue more equitably across our economy. 